rectangular shape right here, selecting the two pieces from the top using the Shape Builder, Command-M, and just holding the Option key is going to delete those pieces off of there. <clears throat> so it's kind of given me this little extra piece to, to hang on to. So now I just have to adjust these top and bottom parts and then put the little character on. So as I take a look, I'm going to take the Direct Selection tool and click on the anchor point, and I'm just going to use the arrow key to drop this down a little bit place it right on the top there. This one you can just adjust it right to there and just use the space bar to come down to this one. Little residual hanging around. And so I'm just going to select this entire um, section over here on this side. Let's see. Grab these two points and just bump it over. Maybe not that far. Maybe I'll keep it over there and move this side over. <clears throat> trying to take a look at how he's got this added. And I might add a point, just taking the pen tool, add a point, click right there, and with that point, move that one over and see if it can connect. So this part just has to go behind this section. And when you see this uh, handle, you can curve this off a little bit. This one, just drag this up to the top here, and now it's arrow keyed over just a little bit and just bump this out. So now this one, this shape, just go give it a, a gray value and just put it behind that image. So this one's in front and taking off the uh, color, it's just an outline section to it. Both of these are just outlines to it. And so I can select the both of them and if I increase the stroke on this, and I have zoom in, I can take a look and see whether or not I want it to be aligning on the center, the outside, or the inside for this. So that, that'll give me that option to place that into there, into that section. Okay, so that's kind of the piece for the top of it. And then there's this little character up at the top here. And uh, as we get into some of the drawing tools, you can, you know, use the pen tool to create those shapes again. Use the elliptical shape for the for the head. So just kind of do a quick quick sketch. The point size goes down to one point, and you also have the option to make it three quarters of the point. Place it in there. So I'm just going to click on using deselect it. So I can just click on the pen tool. Just kind of make part of the shape right there. Let's see what's happening that part. Looks like it came across there. It looks pretty interesting. And using some of the uh, further options to it of the width tool. It's pretty wild how that happened. But that gives me that, that selection. So again, here's the <coughs> tool, but up, up in the options you have these uh, shapes that you can make thin or thick if you want to have that as be part of this design. So I'll do a little bit of both just to show it to you. So you can click on this. These are what they call the profiles. And depending on your selection and manipulation, you can change this into that, into that selection. So again, you also have the option of the width tool. And the width tool lets you extend this. So depending on the selection down at the end point or something like that. So he has a little stick figure character placing itself onto that section. There. And like I said, that's just a preference of your own, trying to interpret that character and seeing what he looks like like that. So that's the image for that. I can give this a white fill so at least you can see through that through that piece there. And there you have it for that section. Just tie that section there. Okay. So see how you